My name is Eric Wielander. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to tell you a reason that I don't think a lot of people are talking about yet that makes the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max really exciting updates. In the announcement for the Pro phones, there was this little tiny text on the slide saying that they had a thread radio, and this got me excited. And I went to the press release for it, and it says that these iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max introduced the first thread-enabled smartphones, opening up future opportunities for home app integrations. So what is Thread and why am I so excited? What could Apple be doing here with a Thread radio in your phone? So Thread is a relatively new wireless standard that I've talked a lot about on this channel that's built with the smart home in mind. So it's meant to communicate across smart home devices, quickly with low amounts of data. It's not something you'd see, let's say, a security camera use because that has lots of video streaming off it. That might be Wi-Fi or Ethernet. It's great for all these cases in your home where you want fast responsiveness, right? You want the lights to turn on like that, but you're not sending a lot of data just to tell something to turn on. And while Thread's actually a part of the Matter Smart Home standard, Apple's been using Thread in their HomeKit and Apple Home platform for years now, and you can find a lot of accessories that support Thread by looking for the Thread badge on the box. Now, I bet you can understand why you might want that in a smart plug or smart light bulb, but why would you want that in your smartphone? Now, I wanna talk about three different scenarios where I think that Thread could be really great to have in a smartphone and what makes me excited about it for iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. The first is if you're a new smart home user. So let's say you don't have a HomePod or an Apple TV to be what Apple calls the home hub or basically the brains of your Apple smart home. Well, in that case, when you pick up your iPhone, you go to the home app and turn something on, that's gonna be your iPhone talking directly to that device. And if that's a thread enabled smart plug, it's probably gonna to have to fall back to Bluetooth to talk to a smartphone. And while Bluetooth is good for things like AirPods or other wireless headphones, it's not really designed to use in a smart home. So it doesn't work well at long distances. It can often be slow. And so it's just not a great experience if you spend all this money on this nice new phone and a nice smart plug and then they don't talk well together. So if your phone has thread, then it can talk straight to the smart plug over thread, which is gonna be much faster and work at much greater distances. Now, moving to my second point, let's say you already have a HomePod, an Apple TV, or maybe like me, a lot of HomePods and Apple TVs all over your home. So you're swimming in Apple Home Hubs, but you might also know that these new phones come with a feature called an action button, where you can trigger a shortcut or all kinds of other things. And this makes me think that triggering HomeKit commands from let's say something you do where you touch the action button or even just using the home app on your phone, what if that can then jump straight to your thread network? Because what you might not understand about thread is it actually creates a network in and of itself between all of your different thread accessories in your home and then uses something called a thread border router to bridge between that network and the rest of your home's network. So if your phone can not have to worry about going through a thread border router, it can just jump straight to the thread network and talk straight to your smart plug or your smart light bulbs that you're trying to turn on and off. That could be a huge speed boost for changing things in your smart home. So my third idea of where I'm excited to hopefully see Apple use this new technology is in home and away automation. So one of the great things about HomeKit and using Apple Home to automate your smart home devices is that you probably carry your iPhone with you when you go out the door and other Apple devices. And so you can trust Apple to know your location at any given time and know if your home and not just you, but the other people who live with you and who are added to your home get home, they can also be in there. So you can have automations of, let's say when everybody leaves home and the sun sets, you might wanna have lights turn on that make it look like your home, even if you're not. And that might be a different type of scene than you would want if people are home. And I get the impression that Apple is using all kinds of different signals from different sensors on the phone and other things to figure out whether you're home or not. But I could see Thread being another quick signal for that. And because the Thread network can stretch very far if you have lots of different Thread devices in your home, then it could be a really quick way to sort of have your phone quickly check in with your smart home of, 
hello, Eric is home now, and you should turn on or off whatever automations related to that. Traditionally, while these kinds of automations are very cool, I have seen them work really well at certain times and then be unreliable at others. So having an iPhone that supports Thread is just another tool that Apple's software could use to hopefully make these automations more reliable. Now, if you're into Apple and you like the idea of automating your smart home, be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and a lot of fun. I have a lot of exciting products and other videos coming all around those topics later this fall. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really does help other people find it. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.